Hi everyone, Professor Nguyen here. Um, I just wanted to check in on y'all and see how you're doing um, before everything is due tomorrow, Friday night. Um, a couple things that I wanna review with you um, because I've been getting some really awesome questions about um, some of this week's work, particularly the IAT. There's some things that I want to add to and hopefully throughout this video kind of explain a little bit more about. Um, as you can see in my instructions with the IAT, um, I give you a little primer of what it may do to you. Um, for example, you may not like the results that you get. Um, as I state in my instructions, you might have an automatic desire to say that they're wrong or to say that they can't be accurate um, or, you know, to otherwise kind of um, preface your answers by saying that, oh, I would never, you know, be this or be that or act discriminatory towards someone. And I want you to, in order to get the best experience out of this I, ISR um, and out of taking the IAT and just a great learning experience in general, I want you to avoid that urge as much as possible. Because remember, um, if anything we learn from chapter two, we are products of our environment. And so like I stress in the instructions of the IAT, Having a bias does not make you a bad person and having a bias that you didn't know about and that surprises you doesn't make you a bad person. Um, and really what we need to be doing as communicators is confronting it, hitting it head on, interrogating it, figuring out maybe what in our background, our experience, our worldview, our upbringing may have contributed to that and really take that time to self-reflect, right? Um, and so, for example, if you took an IAT that said, um, you know, you had a preference for a particular skin color over another, um, and you have this urge to say, no, like I'm always fighting for social justice and I always want people to be equal. That's okay. Um, I know that you do. And I, I very much believe that all of you are fantastic, wonderful human beings who are here to make this world a better place. And at the same time, remember that our conscious thoughts, right, what we want, so we fight for equality, we're on social media fighting for it, you know, you're talking to people, you might be out protesting fighting for it. And you can still also have implicit biases that were given to you by your environment, absorbed into your subconscious and still a part of you. And so stating that, oh, you know, I don't outwardly act discriminatory towards someone doesn't negate the fact that you may hold an implicit bias because again, it's implicit, it's subconscious. There's no way you can know that you have it. Um, one great example might be that is pertinent right now is the discussion of what's going on between how police officers um, and the communities that they serve interact, right? Um, a police officer may not have an outward conscious thought of, you know, I dislike, you know, uh, this particular group of people. However, in a stressful situation, a police officer may react on their implicit bias before they react on any of those conscious thoughts. That's why implicit biases are important because they are what we end up defaulting to in moments of high stress or moments where we need to make quick decisions. And most of the time when you're consciously going to a protest or consciously on social media fighting for equality or talking to someone about equality, of course you're not you know, making um, judgment, quick judgment decisions when you're engaging in those behaviors. So then therefore you can't equivocate what you could consciously think with what your implicit bias would be. So I really wanted to clarify that aspect Again, there is no shame and there's no blame in having a bias. Um, all of you do, and that's okay. And as I said in my lecture video, I do too. All human beings do too. It's impossible to be a human being and not have one. The last thing I want to emphasize is for those of you who are testing in the IAT and you are getting a result where you have no association, that's fantastic. Dive deeper into that just because you have no association or um, your test shows some sort of neutral position. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean there's no value from that. Um, I was speaking to another student who asked me that question of how can she apply that knowledge of having a neutral association um, into her workplace or into her community. That's incredibly valuable information knowing that you have a neutral space because that helps you to self-reflect on how come I have a neutral space, right? What positive influences in my life have helped me to ensure that I'm neutral truly in those spaces? And how can I apply that same concept to other implicit biases I may or may not have? Um, because what that means is you're surrounding yourself in an environment with people that are providing you um, a holistic approach to you know the groups of people that the IET is testing on. So long story short, if you have a non-association non or your test shows little to no association between two groups, that means um, 
that there's something in your environment that is supporting you. And so you can apply that to your work and to your school and to your personal life by being mindful of your environment, by possibly being that positive support for other people um, and supporting them with transforming their possible implicit biases um, and also can continue to motivate you to harness that strength to address other implicit biases you may have. Because while you may have tested um, neutral or no association for one test, that doesn't mean that you will for all of them. And it's very likely that you won't test <laughs> neutral for most of them. And so that gives you great knowledge as a communicator on how wonderful it is and how possible it is to mitigate or control the negative impacts of implicit bias. I hope you are all having a great afternoon or day, <laughs> and I am looking forward to reading the rest of your ISRs for this week. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.